In today's video, we'll check out 21 games running on the 6600H. Can this affordable chipset play our favourite games, or will it be left sitting in the roses? Welcome to Team Pandora. Subscribble. For this round of tests, we'll be using the GMK Tech M6. It houses two sticks of 16GB DDR5 memory, and can be found quite cheap on Amazon. While I'm creating this video, the 32GB model is at 360, and the 16GB model is at 299. We have a video review of this on our channel, and if you want to help us out, please consider using the affiliate links down below. The M6 BIOS is set to performance mode, and this speeds up the fan and alters TDP to 65 watts. We've set the frame buffer to 4GB, it'll be using Windows 11 Pro updated to the latest versions and drivers. AMD Adrenaline has also been updated, and will be using no driver trickery, so all settings will be set to default. The game settings will be displayed before each section, so let's get to it. First up is one of our favourites, Grid Autosport, and at 1080p high, the 6600H runs this like butter. Same team. Oi, 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 oi. Forza Horizon Five. While we get around 50 FPS at 10 HP medium, if we turn off MSAA and blur, we can get this running a little better. Uh, a lot better. Is Need for Speed Heat. Struggles at 1080p medium and low, but in 720p, nice. While Super Warden GP2 doesn't really have a graphical option screen, at default 1080p settings it does struggle. But we can get it running at full speed if we turn off the filter and ambient occlusion. Oh yeah!
Rocket League. 1080p high. Fortnite, using the performance renderer intended to be high. Right around 40 FPS with the first drop from the bus, once we hit the ground it's quite playable. And if you want to get some additional speed, we can always lower the resolution or graphic settings. Fallout 4. As this is a slower paced RPG, around 30 can still be playable, but 720p can make a big difference. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Take it slow and steady. Just stay with me. Look out! Oh shit! That was close. Valkyrie Chronicles 4, 1080p low. As this is, in essence, a turn-based strategy game, a low frame rate is fine, but again we'll be using 720p to get around 60fps. XCOM 2 is a game we can't recommend enough, and it plays perfectly fine in 720p medium.
Tekken 8, 720p low. It is running full speed, but let's face it, no one will play a game that looks this bad. Placing resolution scale to 100 allows us to use a full 720p, giving us a much more playable game. In rounds 2 and 3 of this stage, more effects are used, giving us dips in the frame rates. Additional settings will need to be changed in order to get a solid 60 throughout the whole game. Tekken 7 performs much better, giving us full 60 at 1080p medium. But it slows down a little if we turn off upscaling. Street Fighter 6, 1080p medium. King of Fighters 15. Killer Instinct. Can I strike 2 at 1080p low, with FSR turned off? <laughs> These are my settings on the holodeck. As Cyberpunk 2077 is extremely demanding, we decided to use the default low settings at 720p. This does use FSR to upscale, but we were surprised at the performance of this cheaper Ryzen chipset.
Firewatch. Whoever this is. It's Next up, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Dave the Diver. We've only just unlocked night diving, and maybe due to some graphical effects, there is a little slowdown. But if we lower the resolution slightly, full speed ahead. If you would like to see more, check these here. And click my dong. <laughs> 